Um, chapter 3.5, day 3. We did the first two problem in class. And here, graph the following equation. At the bottom, it says, what is the slope and what does it mean? Make sure you answer. The slope is um, negative 3 over 1. And it means going down 3 and write 1. So the first thing about graphing is you need to identify the y-intercept, which is that. That's the y-intercept here at 9. And then follow the meaning of the slope. It's negative 3, which is down 3 and right, 1 right. So from there, you go down 3, 1, which is this number right here. Down 1, 2, 3 over 1. Okay. Down, you continue that pattern. 1, 2, 3 over 1. 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 Okay, right there. And then erase the little dots, and you have the graph. So, right here, the y intercept, the most important, the starting point is negative 3, right there. Okay, from there, you use, this is your slope right here. The question asks, what is the slope? The slope is 4 over 5. The one I highlighted means up five because, up 4 because it's positive, and 5 to the right. You always turn right. I can cook as soon as I'm... That's the broccoli. That's all I need. Everything else is going to be done. Okay, then um, heat some water. It's heating right now. It's almost boiling. And steam a little bit of broccoli. Leave it crisp, and then I'll... I'll um, saute it really fast. Steam it. I'll, I'll, I'll do it in a minute, okay? A Just second. soon. Okay? Yeah. That means you go up four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, over one, two, three, four, five, right there. Up one, two, three, four, over one, two, three, four, five, right there. Okay? Run out of room, you go down one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, right there. Okay? And you erase all these little dots because you don't need them. And you just connect the points together. And you got a nice straight line. Okay, now, period three, four, and um, five, we didn't get to do number one. Um, so I told you guys skip that one. Period two, we did them together. So here we go. They don't give you the coordinates. You need to put the coordinates in two seven. Put the coordinates in five one. So you need to find here. It says write the equation in slope intercept form. That's y equals to mx plus b and identify the slope, so we need to find m, and identify the y-intercept. Okay, let's find m. We can find the rate of change, which is 7 minus 1, 7 to 1, and 2 to 5. So 2 to 5. That gives you 6 over negative 3, so the slope is negative 2. And we don't know B. Okay. So we know slope is negative 2 over 1 or just negative 2. But we don't know B. B is an issue here. Okay. We don't know. It's not there on a graph. In order to find B, you need to use the point. You need to use point slope formula point slope form okay point slope means you choose a point okay that choose either two seven or one five I'm gonna choose doesn't matter which one you choose I'm gonna choose one five and we know we have our slope here um, m is negative two and the point slope formula that you use 
is y minus y1 equals to m parentheses x minus x1. Okay, from there you go, okay, y minus y1, that's x1, y1, y1 is this one right here, minus 1 equals to the slope, the slope is here, which is negative 2, parentheses x minus x1, which is this 5 here, uh, minus 5, okay, distribute next, this times this, is negative 2x. Now negative times this negative right here is a positive 10 because 2 times 5 is 10 equal to y minus 1. Okay, so you add 1, add 1, that gives you y equals negative 2x plus 11. So the y-intercept, this is slope-intercept form, the y-intercept B right here, we want to know what B is. B is 11. The y-intercept is at 11. Okay? Now, I'm going to do four, 4 first before I do 3. So 4, we know that this is um, 7, 6. And this is 1, 0. Okay? So we take the y to find the slope because this problem wants you to find the slope in the y-intercept. Find the slope, you take the y, which is 6 minus 0, over your x. The x is 7 minus 1, 7 to 1. Okay, that gives you your slope is um, 6 over 6, which is also equal to a positive 1. 6 divided by 6 is 1. Okay, now we do not know the B. That's what we're trying to find out right here. In order to find B, you need to use point slope. So point, the, this formula called point slope. It's what it is. In order to do, use the point slope formula, you need to pick a point I'm going to use 7, 6, and the slope is m equals to 1. Okay, the point-slope formula now, you identify your point and your slope. You can use the point-slope formula, which is y minus y1. Remember, this is x1, this is y1, equals to m parentheses x minus x1. Okay, that gives you y minus 6 equal, excuse me, um, m which is 1, m right here is 1 for this one there, and then x minus x1 which is right here, which is 7, okay, distribute 1 to x is 1x, or just x, minus 7, equals to y minus 6. Now we make 6 equal to 0, okay? That leaves you y equals to 1x minus 1. Your y-intercept then is at negative 1. <coughs> y-intercept is at negative 1. So these are the two answers they want, or three. They want the slope. <coughs> the question here is they want to identify the slope and the y-intercept, and it's in slope-intercept form of y, y equals mx plus b. Okay, this one's a little bit harder for you guys. It's more of a challenge because it's going to be a fraction. I'm going to take these two numbers. Okay, I'm going to do 2 and 4, 2 to 4, that's my slope, 2 to 4 over 10 to 20, so 10 to 20. So my slope then is negative 2 over negative 10. Now you can't divide this, but you can reduce, you can divide both of them by 2, a negative and a negative, you guys remember, is a positive. Divide by 2, I get 1 over 5. 
my slope is 1 over 5, means up 1, right 5. Okay, so remember we're going to use point slope formula to find what B is because they want to know what B is. Point slope formula, pick a point. I'm going to use 10 to, 10 to, okay, the slope is 1 over 5, okay. Now, point slope formula is this. Y minus Y1 equals to M parentheses X minus X1, okay. So, that gives me Y minus Y1 this is y1 right here. This is x1. Make sure that looks like a y. Okay? So you put you substitute a 2 there equals to an m. We put m here over here. It's 1 over 5 parentheses x minus x1, x1 is here, 10, so in place of that I put 10, so y minus 2 equals distribute 1 over 5x, distribute minus 10 times 1 over 5, cross cancel, 2 and 1 gives you 2. Add 2 to both sides. Okay. Gives you y equals to 1 over 5x plus 0 because this makes a 0. Okay. And your y intercept then is 0. Now it's really important for you to know that you really don't need to write this plus 0, it can be left empty. And this is more simplified version, more correct. Okay, that's your homework. That's the end of it.